Greetings to all my RCA Chaverim, Chatzko Freundlich from Montreal here. I just wanted to share a phrase that I came across that I think really encapsulates what we've all experienced this week, this terrible week in Klal Yisrael after the tragedy in Meiron. And it relates to the unique mitzvah that the Torah describes in the beginning of Pashas Bahar of Tkia Shofar on Yovel. We're all familiar, of course, with the mitzvah of Shofar on Rosh Hashanah. And the Torah introduces a new mitzvah that every 50th year on Yom Kippur, we blow the Shofar. And what is the purpose of this blowing of the Shofar? The Torah itself describes, V'shavtem ish el achuzaso v'ish el mishpachto tashuvu. Two things happen. Any land, any inheritance the original land that it was divided to the Shvatim returns if it had been sold to its original owner. And any Eved Ivri, any Jewish slave that's owned by anyone, returns to his freedom through the blowing of this particular shofar. Rashi already points out, Chazal point out, as the Ramban does, that the Torah has a double language in describing that this shofar has to be done specifically on Yom Kippur, not just on Biyoma Asiri B'chodesh Hashvi'i. The Torah tells us on the 10th day of the 7th month, which we know is Yom Kippur, but Biyoma Kippurim Ta'aviru Shofar B'chol Ha'atzachem. Says the Maral, it's to highlight that it was not a random date that was chosen that we blow the shofar. It's really a little odd that we should blow the shofar on Yom Kippur. If anything, we would of course thought it would have been done on Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of the 50th year. That's when everybody should go free. That's when the land should return. That's when we should blow the shofar. Why do we wait 10 days into the year and only blow the shofar on Yom Kippur? The moral says, because Yom Kippur and Yovel are actually Dovar Echad. It's the exact same thing that's happening, which is, Ki HaYovel Hu Yichazoras HaKol L'Chezkaso HaRishona. Yovel is a return to our original state. Yovel says, you were an Evid for the last number of years. It's time to go back to who you are. The land was held by someone else other than its original landowner. It's time to go back to its original place. It's a, it's a return of Chazara to the way that it was Kivarishona. That's what Yom Kippur is for all of us. Yom Kippur is the day of Tshuva, day of Kapara, in which a Jew stands in the holiness of the day, the purity of the day, and returns to who each one of us is supposed to be. Of course, the Maral says, that's when we're going to blow the shofar to set them free to return the land. There's no better day on the calendar other than Yom Kippur. You might have thought we should blow the shofar in the beginning on Rosh Hashanah. It's much better to blow the shofar on Yom Kippur because what's happening on Yom Kippur, the return to who we are in truth, is exactly what we're doing with the blowing of the shofar. But the Ramban points out another fascinating aspect of this mitzvah of blowing the shofar is that it's not like the way that we count the years leading up to Yovel, which is a mitzvah incumbent upon Beisdin, but the fact that the Torah says, Ta'aviru shofar b'chol artzachem, that we have to blow this shofar on Yom Kippur, announcing everyone's freedom in all of the land, the Ramban says, makes it a mitzvah shekol yachid v'yachid chayiv litko. Every individual is obligated to blow the shofar, not just Beisdin. Every person has to blow the shofar, in which land and avadim are all set free through that tzkiyas shofar. Sefer Chinuch points out, what comes out from that, that every individual has to blow the shofar, is what allows this mitzvah to be done in the way that it needs to be done. And he explains the Sefer Achinach that this task is actually a very difficult task, what the, mitzvah, what the Torah is demanding of each individual. A person bought a piece of land 30 years ago, 40 years ago. They've been working the land. It's been in his family. And now all of a sudden, for free, at the end of the 49 years, it has to return back to its owner. It's not a simple thing. Where are we going to go now? We have to find someplace else to live, another field to work. That is not a simple thing for a farmer to do. Or an Evid has been with a family also. It could be 20, 30, 40 years. He's grown up with all of the kids. He's been part of our family. And now we just set him free? It's not so simple for a person to be able to do so. What gives each individual family the strength to be able with a smile on their faces to fulfill this mitzvah and give away something which has been part of their life for so long, says the Sefer Achinach, nothing is mechazek a person, she'ein davar she'echazek libos b'nei adam, k'mo ma'aseh harabim. When everyone's doing it, when I know, yeah, this is really hard for me, but everyone has to go through this right now, Nothing is machazek me to be able to do so when I know that everyone else is doing it. So the shofar is blown throughout b'chol artzachem. To, as a reminder, you hear, oh, he's also doing it. He also has to do this. I can find the strength to be able to do so. And then the chinuch adds, u'chemayim rachacham, tsa'arabim nechama. 
This idea that you can get through something when you know that everyone else is doing it is encompassed in the phrase of the Chacham, he writes, that when the Rabbim is bizarre, it's a little bit of a Nechama. It's a little bit of comfort for the person experiencing it. And this really is, is the task of all of Klal Yisrael and that which we've been doing and will continue to do for Nebuch, the families that are suffering, suffering so terribly. But when we as a Rabbim acknowledge that and let them know that we're suffering with them, it's a little bit of a nechama. Obviously, no, no parents could ever uh, know from experience uh, or get in the shoes of, of another, of, of someone who's going through this tragedy. But a little bit of a nechama, just the idea that the Tsar Rabbim, and this is the task of the Jewish communities around the world, as we've seen really in a beautiful way, has been done over these uh, last couple of days. That's the chauffeur of Yom Kippur Yovel. Everybody blows a chauffeur, everybody gives away, and it allows each of us to do that which is necessary on uh, on that particular day of the day of Yom Kippur, which is the Chazara to who we are. Um, and that's a little bit of the mitzvah of Tzkiya Shofar of Yovel on Yom Kippur. A good Shabbos, everyone.